uh, Jason Leibold, and I'm a plumber for Mr. Plumber. My father's a plumber, my brother's a plumber, and it was uh, like when I was, I actually didn't start doing this, I started, I worked in an office for years, and uh, when I got kind of tired of that, I decided to pick up a trade, and this was the one for me, because it was what we always knew. I used to work with Dad growing up, so yeah. it was, uh, kind of came easy. Well, I'll show up at the office, and uh, I'm a service plumber, so uh, just like the stuff we did there before, it's all, I'll get a list of work I have to go, places I have to be, and you go, and it can be just about anything. That's the thing with service plumbing. It's not just one thing. It can be any fixture, anything at all, leaks, stoppages, you know, like uh, plugged up drains, things like that. Well, like I said, being outside, being able to work with your hands, I like. Um, the money I like. Being on call. Yeah. Yeah, being on calls is no fun. And uh, usually when you're on call, you're getting the hard calls where someone calls, they say that there's no water in their house or that their sewers are backing up into their house and it's midnight and you have to get in the van and go and fix things. So that's no fun. Good. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> It's a skilled trade. You have to know a, a lot about uh, a little bit of every part of plumbing because it's not just plumbing. It is plumbing and heating. So other than the drains and the water and the plumbing part of it, you also have to know everything about heat as well. So there, and with plumbing, there's always new technologies coming out. So you really have to stay on top of this. Well, I think it's good. There seems to be lots of work. Holland College offers a really good course for plumbing. So you come out of that course knowing quite a bit. I mean. You will, nothing really uh, takes the place of hands-on training, but I mean, you really come out of that course knowing what to do. But I went through the apprenticeship block, and so what you do is you take a nine-month course, and after that, you're into an apprenticeship block. There's four apprenticeship blocks. So you go, after your nine-month course, you go get a job at a plumbing company, and then every year for four years, you go back to school. You study for six weeks, write a test, and it's like climbing a ladder. After your fourth year, you can write for your license. I don't know, anyone who likes hands-on work and likes, uh, likes to be able to go into a place, see a problem, and be able to fix it. I mean, there is a part of that where it is messy and it can be gross, but I mean, it's, it's not all day and it's not every day, so there is some clean parts of it, but you do have to be prepared for that. You get used to it. <laughs>